back. So let's just start with the first project right here and that's going to be for the core entities because it's just that simple. So what I want to do is pretty much just move the customer into its own project instead of having that inside the UI project right here. So I'm going to move this guy into a new project. But since this is the first project that I want to add, I right click right here, I say add, new project, there we go. I have to make a choice, right? I can choose two different project types. Since this is not a UI project, I don't want to use any kind of console app or REST API or MVC application, anything like that. I'm just going to select something called a class library in the .NET framework. Pretty much just a package. Now that package doesn't know anything about user interfaces, it doesn't know how to present the data to the user. The idea with the class library is just that it's a package that can handle some data, work some data, do something for you. It's going to provide you some kind of infrastructure, some kind of way to communicate with the package, an API, a set of interfaces, call it what you want. So you can kind of have a contract with this package and say, I want the customers, here you go, here's the customers, whatever you want to do, right? So that's why we're going to use a class library. But there are two different ones we can pick. Now we can pick the class library that's built for .NET Core very specifically 4.NET Core, and that gives you some pretty cool extensions, some pretty cool things you can do with the .NET Core framework. But there's also another one called the .NET Standard Library. And that's a multi-platform. That's something that you can use in other frameworks. You can use it, for instance, in .NET Core like we're doing, sweet, but in the old frameworks as well, meaning that if you, for some reason, decide that you want to downgrade to the old framework, you can actually still use this core setup or the heart of our application right here inside the old frameworks as well. Now this is pretty amazing because that means that we could do the other way around as well, right? If we, if we pick .NET Standard to build a framework in the old setup, we could actually have moved to .NET Core without making any changes to anything except the outer layers, like the new Entity Framework Core, instead of the old Entity Framework for the old setup right here. But you can also use it for MonoDevelop, which is a way for, use, for using on Mac machines, for instance. You can use it for Samarine, which is a way to develop uh, mobile apps and stuff like that. You can use it for the Windows platform, which is a way to build applications for your desktop. We can use it for Windows Phone, stuff like that. So we can, if we make and use a standard library, we'll use, we'll lose some of the .NET Core power, but we'll get the possibility to actually reuse our core code, everything in the center of our application. We can use that on another platform later on if we want to. That's amazing. So we're going to try and do that. It means that some things that we're used to might not be available in the standard if we're used to .NET Core, but it also means that it's reusable for, for future, right? So it's kind of future proof. But again, if you don't want to do that, it's okay to just go for the .NET Core, no problem for me. So I'm going to use the standard library for that reason. Going in here, picking .NET Standard Library, it's on a multi-platform app, if you can't find it, .NET Standard Library, whoops, library, sorry, there we go, .NET Standard Library, there we go, I'll say next. I'll use .NET 2 standard. Now that's actually the standards you see out here. And I'll say next, and then I'll call it, uh, let's just start by customer app. So I know that this is my customer app project or customer app solution that I'm going to build in my case. And then I'm going to call it core because this is for the center of my, the heart of my application, right? The core architecture layer right here. And then the final one is going to be called entity. Now the reason that I want a project for the entities is Maybe in some of the other projects, I only need the entities. I don't need the entire um, domain service and application service. So that's why I want a project for the entities on their own. I'm going to create this guy under the solution that I have already. There we go. And now I have my first class right here. Let's just delete that guy and just add a customer class. Delete. Remember, not remove from project, but delete. I want to remove it completely from the solution. I'll add a new class right here. We could just copy this guy, but then I would have to rename and do stuff like that. I don't want to do that yet. So I'll just make a new file, call it customer. It's going to be an empty customer. It's going to be a simple empty class right here. I'm going to say new. There we go, we have a customer. I'm just going to do like in the previous video and just copy the different attributes that I need. Right here, Doop. there we go. Now we have all the entities that we need for now inside our customer core application right here. Sweet! So that's all I had to do for now. See you in the next lesson where we'll have even more fun.